Hi, my name is Chad Weiner, and I'm a solution architect at Alithia Fullscope. In this video, we'll be covering Dynamics 365 field service and the top five features our customers are currently loving. Dynamics 365 for field service is fully customizable and extensible that sits on top of the Dynamics 365 platform. It's got a lot of different functionality, but right now our customers are loving the ability to have different types of work orders and automatically see products, services, and tasks and be able to have a one-stop shop to easily manage all of those work orders. They're also loving the schedule board, which gives their dispatchers the ability to schedule and dispatch and manage all of their resources and open and unscheduled work orders in a really clean interface. The third piece is the mobility. So our customers are loving the Dynamics 365 field service app, which allows their technicians to get work order, address, all the information that they need in the field, on their device, with even offline capabilities. And with that mobile enablement, we can actually track the technicians for live tracking and up-to-date analysis for the managers and back office, as well as be able to enable our uh, work order lifecycle and engage with our customers, whether that's via email, via texting, uh, or maybe a better enhanced experience. Lastly, they're loving the Power BI dashboards that are easily enabled to quickly spin up analytics and get real-time analysis into their work order and resourcing capacity. Let's jump into a demo and see these features live. We're looking at an active list of work orders and we can see some really good information such as the work order, any substatuses, whether it's been scheduled or not, uh, and the type of work order that it is. Let's go ahead and open up work order 421. We can see that it's for Spangalang Brewing. It hasn't been scheduled yet, and it's a work order type install and replace. Now this work order type essentially acts as templates, which will allow you to precede certain tasks. So these are the four tasks that the technician needs to do, and they make up the total duration of this work order. So it's about an hour to do these four things. If there are any products that the user needs to bring on site, we can list those out here, as well as we can capture the services. And so this is you know, $125 for one hour, potentially if the only works for a half hour and we wanna charge the customer for the time worked, we have the ability to do that. Very big important thing about work orders is addresses and geocoding the location. So the application does that automatically for you. And then we can see where this work order is on a map. And again, all of this information can be fed to the technicians in the field via the Dynamics 365 mobile application. And now that we have our work order created, it's in an unscheduled state. Let's flip over to the schedule board and see how someone like a dispatch manager would view all of the currently unscheduled and scheduled work orders and manage their services from a day-to-day -day basis. So here we are on the Dynamics 365 field service schedule board. We can see a lot of great information that's important for a dispatcher or a manager. We can see at the bottom all of our unscheduled work orders that have been created either manually in the call center, maybe integration from another system, but we can see all of the unscheduled work orders, uh, what type, what their duration is, where the work needs to happen. We can see on the left a map with the different color-coded resources for the routes, with the red question marks being all of our unscheduled uh, work orders. And in the schedule pane, we can see uh, per row of resource, all of their booked re uh, work orders for the day and their different statuses as they go through that work order life cycle. Red is traveling, green is in progress, blue is scheduled. Uh, we can actually see Roland is currently on break. And all of this is facilitated via the mobile app that allows for the, the location tracking. So here's an example we can see. Uh, I have the mobile app installed and running it so I can see my current location via this truck and we can actually see that there's a work order nearby. So let's go ahead and find availability and use the scheduling assistant to help me find who the appropriate resource is. So as we can see, uh, we got the different travel times and who can be available. And honestly, I don't wanna put Jennifer because she's traveling away. I noticed Chad doesn't have any bookable resources uh, today. So let's go ahead and book this. I can go ahead and book that it's gonna create that work order. And now 
we can see that in a second the mobile technician will be notified on his mobile device so we're actually going to send a push notification to his phone so you just see that right there I can actually now click to view that work order and as we can see I get all the information around this work order so work order 411 what the date is what the estimated miles traveled is I can see who the service account is I can get any instructions if we're tracking any products services or tasks I can see what that is one of the other great features is since we have the account I can get turn by turn directions to the work order service location or maybe we can even capture signature at the bottom so the field service mobile app really enables us to uh, track location push work order information out to the field and it also allows them to update the status so now we're flipping over to the customer journey as we've scheduled a work order for that customer we've now sent a text message to their primary contact and let Benjamin know that he has a work order scheduled today at 1028 and it's been assigned to Chad Weiner if he has any questions please use that number to follow back up and we'll be happy to reschedule so the customer gets the first notification that says their work order has been scheduled now let's flip back over to the tech who's going to say that he has completed his last job and he's now traveling and in route to the customer now this is another opportunity for us to notify our customer letting them know that the technician is currently in route to their location and to be aware that their services will be uh, started fairly soon and so we're now updating it and we'll see we get the second customer journey notification that says the service technician is in route and the resource Chad Weiner will arrive shortly now there is the opportunity to even go farther into the customer journey experience and actually give them a branded uh, uber like experience right so if you want your customers to get a personalized web page that lets them know hey your work order has been scheduled for 10 days in advance fast forward to the day of they'll get uh, another notification that will say hey today we're expecting the estimated arrival time to be six hours and then again as that technician updates it and says he's traveling the customer will actually be able to track that technician's location in real time the technician now has arrived and begun the work and now the work has been completed and we're even asking for some feedback so really great customer journey very configurable however you would like to communicate with your customers it can be done within the Dynamics 365 field service let's now flip over to a little bit of the reporting capabilities so we're looking at an embedded Power BI dashboard within Dynamics 365 and we can see a lot of great information around our currently unscheduled and in-progress work orders we can see there's 106 six days average open and we can see the different products and geos and even by resource we have the great drill down and filtering capabilities where if we pick the type one servers it's going to filter all the data down we can say we want to filter by a specific resource Tyler and we can search all of his records we even have links to the account or customer or work order records right from within the dashboard if I want to drill into this dashboard more I can drill into the underlying reports or we can see more information such as completed work order duration maybe if we're tracking customer assets let's go ahead and look at some of these other tabs here we can see that the type 2 servers are taking the longest to complete their work orders maybe that's something I want to talk to my team about or we can even see that the actual versus estimate durations are really good for our power supplies but we're not hitting the mark on these other types of services this may be something that I want to bring up with my team I can also see those live tracking that we're getting from the mobile uh, technicians and their applications where we can see some of the average miles that have been traveled either by state or by technician and again however we want to break that out we can slice and dice using Power BI thank you for watching this video on Dynamics 365 field service and our top five features that our customers are loving 
If you have any questions or want to learn how you can take advantage of Dynamics 365 customer service, please reach out to your account director. Thank you.